ahead and um, encrypt and decrypt uh, a message. So I want to show you both the uh, key generation, uh, which we've done in class, but in case you haven't seen it yet, you can basically set keys for yourself by using um, the, these variables and using the make keys function, right? And then if I, of course, would have to run the program to do that, so let's try that again. Yeah, so use the make keys function. Okay, make sure, of course, when you're loading the program you're using here is the paired keys function, paired keys uh, Python file. This comes from your resources on 215. So we use that and we make keys. Now, obviously, since this is an example, we're going to go ahead and print both keys here. But you can see, if you want to see what it looks like, it's a tuple. It's a two tuple. Okay? Public key is one, private key is another one. Now, the intention of RSA encryption is that you would not know the user's private key other than your own, of course. But everybody would have access to your public key. Notice the first numbers are the same. There's a mathematical principle that goes on uh, with RSA encryption. Uh, that's, there's more to that. You could actually look up YouTube and get some insight on that as well. So here's the keys we're going to use. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a message. Now, this message is going to be this video is helpful. Right? That's going to be the message. Okay? Just made that up. And I'm going to store that as a variable. Obviously, it's a lot easier to store it as a variable than we can just recall. Now, when I want to encrypt this message, the RSA encryption uses a numerized uh, algorithm. And what it does is it converts, you first have to convert your message to this random, seemingly random string of numbers. To do that, we use the numerize function. Numerize, and we're going to type in the message that we want to numerize. Okay? In this case, it's the previous variable message. When we do that, we get this output. And again, this output is just a string of numbers. And this is what would get encrypted. Now, depending on the purpose, if you want to send this message to somebody else and only have them be able to read it, you would have to encrypt it using their public key. Okay? But because I'm just showing you how to encrypt and decrypt, I'm going to uh, presume that this message is going to come from me and everybody's going to be able to read it as long as they have my public key. So to do that, I'm going to encrypt it using my private key. So I'm going to use key, and then I'm going to use my private key, and then I'm going to use the previous output. And you can recall the previous output just by putting an underscore there. So the use key function uses two arguments. When I hit enter, now I get another string of numbers. Now, if we're doing activity 215, which is obviously what you're uh, watching this for, is we're going to then have to post this message. Now, this message would go into the third section of our Google Doc. Um, and then others would be able to copy it, and then they will try to, encrypt, try to decrypt it, I should say. So what are they going to do? Well, they're going to go grab, go grab the document. They're going to go grab this message. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and say this is the encrypted message, and I'm going to use the sorry, previous uh, output as, as that assignment. So I can assign it to a, a message called encrypted, just to check to see that it is indeed that, right? So that variable now stored the message, right? So the person is going to go in, going to grab that message, and then assign it to encrypt, for example. Okay. Now, they also would have my public key. Now, I have it stored already in here. Public key is already stored. So I'm going to go ahead and just remind you of that. Here's public key, right? So they would see this, this particular tuple on the Google Doc. They would also probably plug that into another variable. And then they're going to use key, but this time use the public key, and then the encrypted message. So what this does is this now turns the message back into the originally numerized message. And then the last step that they would have to use is the denumerize function to undo the numerization of the message, and then the previous output, and then we should be back to our original message. Okay? So there you have it. That's, that's an encryption and decryption. Um, remember, you have to post two encrypted messages on the Google Doc, but you'll have to decrypt more than two messages on there. Um, and I will you know, provide uh, a word copy of all of your messages and public keys so that we don't have uh, as many Wi-Fi issues uh, in the next class. Okay? All right. Thanks for watching.